This is 1221. Well, our, our topic today, how often have you helped your student practice, review, and prepare for an exam only to maybe end up disappointed or even confused by some negative results? Well, today we have Dr. Quinn to share with us some research on ways to help our students, you know, just improve and get the, the success they deserve. Dr. Quinn, thanks for joining us this afternoon. Now tell us, what is metacognition? You know, metacognition is fascinating. I've done a lot of research on it, and what I realized is I've been doing it the whole time, ever since I started having problems in medical school. Basically, metacognition is thinking about thinking. Now, that sounds pretty broad, but basically it's a process. What you want your young person to learn how to do to get those grades, and research has shown that metacognition results in the success that they deserve. You want to teach them to analyze their task. A lot of times they'll have homework assignments and they'll just read through the stuff very passively, but when they finish, they don't know or remember anything they read, but with metacognition, even before you start reading, you analyze, okay, what is it that I wanna learn and, and how can I best do it? You come up with a strategy, you set up goals. Like for instance, I just took my board and passed, for weight loss medicine, I had goals. I had to do these certain modules, these questions, these exams. And with that, you can you can analyze what you're doing. You can um, basically, basically reflect on your uh, progression and you can see how well you're doing. And then at the end, now this is the best part, you wanna reflect on everything you've done and look at ways that you can better do it so you can learn even better. But the bottom line is metacognition works and it will help your children gain the success that they deserve. So Dr. Quinn, what are some simple ways that students can apply metacognition to improve their learning? Well, well there, there are a lot of ways we talked about having that strategy, but ways that you know are very helpful is for the parents to get involved too. And what we advise our parents to do is number one, get involved. You know, sit with your children every day for 30 minutes to an hour, or even, even an hour and a half, and do their homework with them. You know, ask them questions, keep engaged. Also, you want to get reinforcement if you need to. Like at one point, I had to hire a tutor to help with my daughter because I couldn't understand that that math, that a high school math. Because even though I'm a doctor, I'm not a math doctor. But also just reward efforts uh, as far as, you know, they're working hard, not so much the results, but praise the effort, but also make friends with the teacher because the teacher can be a really big ally as far as helping your kid get the grades that they deserve. And also have your kids in extracurricular activities is possibly what you're gonna bring up too, Dr. Quinn. Thank you so much for your time. Find this interview online. We're so sorry we just ran out of time, Dr. Quinn, but thank you for joining us. Hey, thank you for having me. If you